Heavily fortified. Behave, my love. You think you can help me with that? Ha! Apollodorus. We must move quickly. You shouldn't have come here. At least we belong here. Fine. Someone we can kill. Stop your flailing. You will live, fool. Flavius was behind the door. I I'm sorry. Flavius killed your son. They were here. They took the orb from me. They've gone to Siwa. Siwa? Bayek, I am. Your people are in danger. God, now! Fare thee well, Apollodorus. To the house of Hades. Completely silent. The animals, too. Uh, some sort of plague has hit the village. That viper Flavius did this. We should have ripped out his entrails long before now. Let us get to the vault. Roman soldiers. Must be Flavius's men. Don't the oh. Help! Get those intruders down! <laughs> It was Flavius all along. He brought Caesar and the Romans here, hoping to take complete power. We trusted him. We were fools. Rabia, what happened here? Bayek. Hepzibah, the vault. Rabia, we will come back to you when we can. <laughs> Be 
themselves. Here's the story of mankind. Bayek. Bayek. It is Hepzifah. My son. Your life is done here in the desert dust. Took my closest friend. We must rush to stop Flavius. No! We cannot leave him here. He deserves a proper farewell. Go ahead, Bayek. I am with you. Hepsifa knew nothing of the order. There was no cause for him to be killed. Flavius ripped out his heart as a message to me. It was he who killed Chemu. My husband, we will end this. Bayek. what happened. It was horrible. The Roman leaders entered the temple vault. Septimius and Flavius. The objects they carried opened it as if by a god's hand. Hepzibah tried to stop them, but they rendered him helpless. They entered the vault. A blue fire seemed to emerge. I fled to no avail. The entire village lost its reason and fell to the ground like dolls. They have destroyed Siwa! They must die! You must put an end to this! Bayek! Aya! You have the prayers of the entire village to support you! Let us bring Hepsifa to his rest. Then, we will seek justice! Let the embalmers come. We pray Anubis accept this ornament in place of his heart, such that Hepzibah may walk free in the field of reeds. Hepzibah, old friend. Hepzibah, old friend. <laughs> Bayek, Hepzibah would have wanted you to have this. The weapon he prized above all others. I am honored. Some villagers captured a Roman soldier and questioned him. Flavius is headed for Cyrene, and Septimius for Alexandria. I will kill Flavius. Hmm. There's a farm at the border of Cyrene. Someone there may have seen Flavius pass through. As for me, I will cut out the heart of Septimius. I feel as though wherever we go, tragedy follows. Perhaps we should come to terms. It is hard. I don't want to let go, but... Every time I think of you, I think of Hemu and everything we lost. Me too. 
So for now, we kill. Farewell, Aya. Remu, your mother and I speak of you all the time. Levius will not escape me again.
This must be the farm I have spoke of. Someone must have seen the lion pass through. Stop, Meneruka! I beg you! By my sacred oath, forgive me! I am sorry. It is just... he was such a gentle soul. Once had me treat a wounded dog he had caught in a snare. Why would he do this? I have seen this before. In Siwa. I'm looking for the soul eater responsible. Flavius. The proconsul? That sack of rancid goat shit murdered my son, raised my village, and now marches through your land with the light of Amunra. Come. Let us search the farm. Look for survivors. I am Bayakusiwa. Praxila, of this land gone mad. Why would Flavius do this? They are... All right. What happened here? Red cloaks and that milk soup with the lion's head. Took anyone who could work. Farm hands, my son Kade, everyone. Then he came. Dark eyes hooded as a raven. I wanted to throw stones to shoo him off. 
something golden, bright in his claws, held it up, crowing as they fell before him, some by their own hands, others by those dearest to them. Against nature, everyone crying, screaming, running, dying. How did you es- No one sees poor Linnet, an old woman's husk with clouded eyes. But I saw them, didn't cry out, bit my tongue till I choked on the blood. The men who did this, we will find them. Bitter hurry, girl. Raven flew north to the home of the huntress, overheard red cloak squawking. Bring Kade back to me. I will try. Flavius also robbed me of my boy. Let us bring Nenet to my cart. Will you follow Flavius? I must. For your son. For every son. You must miss him very much. All my waking and sleeping hours. You will see him again in the field of reeds. I hope so. Nenet spoke of the home of the Huntress. Yes, Cyrene. The shining porticos of Roman conquest. It is north of here. If Flavius is there, I will find him and destroy every fiber of his car. When you arrive in Cyrene, look for my friend Diocles. I would trust him with my life and yours. As a magistrate, he hears petitioners in the Agora. Give him this. I hope this heals the madness in this land. I pray you get the justice you seek, Bayek. Why would they take Nenet's son, Kade? The citadel casts a long shadow over Cyrenaica. There are rumors that General Agrippa and Flavius are preparing for war. Against Egypt? Do you doubt their ambition? No. They won't stop until I stop them. I will bring Nenet to my clinic in Balagrey, south of the temple of Asclepius. Though that place has troubles enough. I will find you if I can. <laughs> I get you. Relo. The